this video is all about finding the the term of the sequence when the value of that term is when the number of that term is 33 so now this is a, this is a sequence problem they said if the nth term is equal to a quadratic equation where you have 2n plus 1 times n minus 2. So which term of the sequence is 33? So that is the question. So now let's begin. Let's begin. Now we are given the nth term equal to 2n plus 1 times n minus 2. Now, we are looking for the value of n when the n term is equal to 33. So that means 2n plus 1 times n minus 2 is equal to what? 33. Let's open up this bracket. You must use this to multiply the whole of this. That is 2n times n minus 2. Then use plus 1 to multiply the whole of this, which is n minus 2 equal to 33. Now, let's open up these brackets. 2n times n will give you 2n square. 2n times minus 2 will give you minus 4n. Plus 1 times n will give you plus n. Plus 1 times minus 2 will give you minus 2 equal to 33. Now let's move this 33 to this other side. You have 2n square minus the whole of this will give you 3n. Then minus 2 minus 33 equal to 0. Now we now have 2n square minus 3n. Minus 2 minus 3 will give you minus 35 equal to 0. So now we have 2n square minus 30 minus 3n minus 35 equal to 0. Now for us to solve this particular equation, what are the factors of 2n square and 30? that when you multiply both of them and sum them together you have minus that is a minus 3n so the factors are for this is 2n and n then here you have plus 7 minus 5 so if we cross multiply you have 2n times minus 5 will give you minus 10n then n times plus 7 will give you plus 7n. So when you sum this together, it will give you minus 3n. So that means we add minus 10n plus 7n to this as this, as this here. Then we bring down this minus 35. So you know minus 3n can be written as minus 10n plus 7n. So now we now have 2n square minus 10n plus 7n minus 35 equal to 0. So what are the factors that are common to this boot, these two terms? The factors that are common is 2n. So if you use 2n to divide 2n square, you have n. If you use 2n to divide minus 10n, you have minus 5. Now, what is common here is 7. So, plus 7. So, if you use plus 7 to divide plus 7n, you have n. If you use plus 7 to divide minus 35, you have minus 5 equal to 0. So, if you check, n minus 5 is common. So, let's factor it out. You say my n minus 5 use n minus 5 to divide this term here you have 2n 
you use n minus 5 to divide this term here, you have plus 7. This is equal to 0. So it means that n minus 5 is equal to 0 or 2n plus 7 is equal to 0. So since n minus 5 is equal to 0 or 2n plus 7 is equal to 0. So that means if you move this minus 5 to this other side, you have n to be equal to what? 5. Or if you move this minus 7 to this other side, you have 2n equal to minus 7. Now for here, if you divide both sides by 2, this will cancel out. You have n to be equal to minus 7 over 2. So since this is a fraction, it's not an integer, so this is not a solution. And is a negative value, so this is not a solution. So, so since this one is an integer and is a positive value, then this is a solution. So that means the value of n is equal to what? 5. So that is the final answer. Thank you for watching till the end. Have a nice day.